We end tonight with affairs of the heart. A decade ago, Jenny Stepien's father gave a stranger the gift of life. Now the stranger has returned to give Jenny the gift of a lifetime. Here's Jim Axelrod. To make her wedding day perfect, Jenny Stepien had a man walk her down the aisle she'd met the first time just the day before. Hi! <laughs> but Jenny was positive she could trust Arthur Thomas's heart. Thank you so much for coming. Are you kidding? <laughs> After all, it belonged to her father, Michael. <laughs> and the heart, that's right. <laughs> Jenny's dad, Michael Stepien, was killed in a robbery near Pittsburgh 10 years ago. Hundreds of miles away in Philadelphia, Arthur Thomas's failing heart had him on a transplant waiting list, but hope was slipping away. I was on death's door um, when, when he was uh, murdered, and I needed a heart or I was going to be dying within the next few days. Fast forward a decade to a letter Jenny mailed to Arthur Thomas. And she said, Dear Tom, I'm the daughter of the man whose heart's inside you. Would you walk me down the aisle? Which is how Jenny Stepien got to have her father's beating heart with her for the biggest moment of her life. It's just like having my dad here, even and just and better because we get to share this story with other people, and you know, other people see that organ donors do matter. <laughs> And that's how hearts were both breaking at this wedding Saturday and filled to the brim as well. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, New York.